We are, uh, we are a subsidiary of uh, uh, one of the largest aerospace group in uh, Europe, uh, EADS. And we do, uh, our market is mainly uh, helicopters. We, uh, we do uh, manufacturing and the support of commercial and military helicopters from the small one to, to the large one. We have uh, two facilities, one in uh, Grand Prairie, Texas, and one in uh, Mississippi. Uh, Columbus, Mississippi is our uh, manufacturing uh, production plant. And in Texas, we have all the support and uh, headquarter function. It's a company which is uh, uh, growing, it's been growing over the last 10 years. We have uh, currently about 800 uh, employees and revenues of uh, 750 million dollars. And we have been uh, number one on the commercial market for helicopters for the last seven years. We have been, uh, we have been just recently in the uh, military business in the US. We got our first contract uh, three years ago. And uh, since the contract is, uh, is progressing well, that we have uh, delivered all the aircraft on, uh, on time, on cost, uh, I would say on budget and uh, on quality, uh, we have not seen any changes in, uh, in the environment for us. The contract is ongoing and uh, we have, uh, this contract is going to go over uh, seven years and we are going to produce about uh, 350 helicopters. So there is no change for us. As long as uh, the customer is, uh, is happy, we don't, we don't forecast any, any change. And, and the need for uh, rotorcraft is, uh, is going to remain very high because of the, uh, the mission that uh, the US Army or the National Guard uh, have to fulfill. There is a constant need in uh, helicopters, and there is also a need to replace uh, quite, uh, quite an aged fleet of helicopters. The main challenge is, uh, is continuing to grow the company, find uh, the people to, to help us uh, grow the company. And I would say, uh, uh, since uh, the crisis that we, we faced in the end of 08 and in 2009, uh, the main challenge is to see how the market is going to come back over the next uh, few years. Well, we have, uh, we have done a lot of uh, action in terms of uh, trying to adapt the, uh, uh, the production uh, to, uh, to, the, to the new market uh, requirement in the, uh, in the commercial uh, business. Uh, on the military side, we are still in a, in a ramping, ramping up phase, so we, we are still looking at uh, hiring uh, young technicians and engineers to help us to, to grow this business. So it, it's, it's kind of an adaptation to, uh, to the current environment, but keeping, always keeping in, uh, in perspective what, uh, what is uh, the long-term long plan. We don't, want to, uh, uh, we don't want to overreact today in a difficult market environment and put at risk our, our long-term strategy. So there is a balance between uh, what you need to do to, to protect yourself on a, on a reduction of the market and what you need to do ultimately to, to, grow, to grow the business. So it's, uh, and we, we always continue to, uh, in, in that daf difficult environment, the, the key uh, is to continue to invest in development of new products, which are going to, uh, to meet better the, the need of the customers to remain uh, and to remain very present uh, with the customer, even when they are not buying, but continuing to uh, to ensure uh, that we continue a dialogue, talk to them, trying to understand what uh, what are going to be their future requirements, and to and to work on these future requirements. So that's that's a would say normal business, but it's an industry which is long term. Uh, the the product cycle is very long. It's not like in the automotive industry where uh, the life of a car is about five years. We are in an industry where the, the lifespan of a product is uh, more 15, 20 years. So there is a long time to develop the product, which is between five and seven years. And then after, there is a, a long life of the product, which is between uh, 15 and 20 years. But you, you continue, continuously uh, work on adapting the, 
the product, the, the platform remains the same, but you continue to adapt it to the changing needs of the, of the customer. The helicopter uh, business is, uh, is not a monolithic uh, market. It's, it's made of a very different uh, market with a diff very different environment. Uh, we are today working on five markets. So the, uh, the evolution of this market are not always the same. They are not always dependent on the economical cycle. We are working on tour utility or corporate or EMS and offshore, uh, homeland security. So it depends a little bit of the uh, environment. Some of these markets are are very much linked to the overall economic uh, activity. So if the, if the economy uh, starts to recover, we will do uh, more sales in uh, tour utility, corporate uh, uh, business. If the price of oil uh, increase, uh, we will do uh, more business on the uh, offshore side where, where we sell uh, helicopters to go to the platform, and, uh, for example, in the Gulf of Mexico. If uh, Homeland Security uh, remains a concern, uh, we will do more uh, business into, uh, with uh, custom and border protection, with uh, the National Guard. So it's a very different, uh, different market. So the growth today uh, on the commercial market, evidently, uh, the growth in the next two to three years is linked to the economic uh, recovery. But it's not only linked to that. Well, I, I think what I would like to, to say is that uh, we, uh, we, are, uh, we have been investing in the U.S. For, for 40 years. We have been present in the U.S. for 40 years. And uh, what I would like to say is that our company is a very international uh, company. It's based in Europe, but we have been uh, investing and opening uh, plants all over the world. We have uh, uh, over 20 uh, subsidiaries all over the world, so we can uh, be closer to the customer, understand better their needs, and produce locally. So it helps us to get market, and the US one is of course the largest single market in the world for aerospace. So it helps us to, to be present on the market, also to, to fine tune the product on the, on the market needs, and it also uh, helps us to, uh, to get bright people from all over the world and to have this diversity of uh, mixing European and US and we do a lot of exchange between Europe and, and the US for engineers, for, uh, for managers and it also helps us to, uh, to um, offset some uh, issues with uh, fluctua fluctuation of uh, exchange rate because we're between the euro and the dollar, the more we produce in uh, in the dollar zone, the less we are impacted by the, uh, the euro uh, strength against the dollar. Uh, it also helps us to, to get some source for uh, raw material. So it, it's a way, it's a, uh, it's a very much, uh, it's a strategy of being uh, very much international. And I think it fits well with, uh, it, it has helped us to, uh, to be uh, very successful, on the, at least on the helicopter market.